I'm Paige Parker. And I'm Taylor Trojan. And this is the Marian Catholic News. For the fourth week of April 2020. Well, folks, it's official. Marian Catholic will remain closed for the rest of the school year. After this week, we will be experiencing four-day e-learning days for the rest of the semester, Wednesdays being set aside for teacher office hours. Nobody wants to be in this situation, but on the bright side, I know there's more than a few Spartan girls out there who have been waiting for the opportunity to dye their hair. <laughs> Besides that, there are other silver linings everywhere you look. Mark Evans Engineering 2 class created masks and other protective gear as a capstone project, hundreds of which were distributed to hospitals over spring break. Mrs. Iggins students will be writing letters to members of our society that feel the most disconnected, such as veterans and seniors. They will also be sending thank you cards to hospital workers and reading books to elementary school children over the internet. One of our Amerigo International students, Ann Hoya, organized a fundraiser for PADS, one of our volunteer services, in which students donated money and time to creating cards for homeless relief. In addition to this, Keith Miller, our athletic director, is still available to help any families with any physical therapy needs. He is currently working in the Moni office, but can assist at any athletic location. Anyone interested can contact Mr. Miller at trainerkeith at marionchs.com. No amount of quarantine could ever stop Father O'Mara. He's still saying private masses. There is a special website in the COVID-19 website and on Schoology where you can submit your prayer requests. And finally, you could always count on Paige and myself to be here every week giving you all the news. On Tuesday, April 12th, Governor J.B. Pritzker stated that COVID-19 will not peak until May in Chicago. As of Tuesday, April 22nd, there have been 826,024 cases of COVID-19 in Illinois and 45,365 COVID-19 related deaths. In Indiana, there have been 12,097 cases of COVID-19 and 630 confirmed deaths. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. Congratulations to all who donated this past Monday. Marian Catholic held its annual For Marian Day of Giving and the response was amazing. You helped raise over $60,000 this year. The donations will be going to the COVID-19 Relief Fund, which is helping students and their families hardest hit by the pandemic. Remember to stay safe out there, practice your social distancing, wear a mask whenever you go outside in public areas, and make sure you wash those hands. In weather, there is a lot of rain possible in the next week with temperatures only reaching into the mid-50s. The sun may be visible on Sunday, so make sure to open those shades and let the sun shine in. Sports news? Well, the NFL draft starts tonight and runs through Saturday. You could check it out on the NFL Network, ESPN, and ABC. Finally, with so many people outdoors, it seems nature is coming to check things out. In the city of Adelaide in Australia, a kangaroo was filmed hopping down the mostly deserted main street. Have you ever seen any wildlife moving through your neighborhood, Spartans? I'm Paige Parker. And I'm Taylor Trojan. And this has been the Marian Catholic News. For the fourth week of April 2020. We'll see you all next week.